Let's shout it right now to you. God. We can never be. We can never be. Therefore, this morning, we are your worship. We give you our all in all. We are so grateful for everything that all you have done. In your own wisdom, Father, you know that it is good and you have done it. Therefore, we say thank you. Thank you for drawing our blessings this morning. Thank you, most high God. Thank you for the things that you are about to do. And even for the things that you have already done. Thank you. In Jesus' name, we worship. We get into praise and worship this time. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Please, if you came with your tithes, your offering. Get into your work, uh, your wallet and your purses and come support the work of God with your substance. Amen. 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 Please, if you are done, we humbly ask that you close your eyes as we pray for one of our friends. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for what you have given us. We are so grateful. Father, out of what you give us, we are willing to to support your work. We pray that you bless it. And whatever blessing that is in it according to your word, you will be particular of it in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise this time. Amen.
going and to be early for work tomorrow. Amen. Amen. But somehow the rest of the proceedings must go on. We have some big victories in our midst. I see Tobe Ajako, the traditional chief and warlord from uh, uh, Sugakope traditional area. Tobe Nana Akwaba. <laughs> we have some, uh, maybe before I go on, I have, we have uh, uh, Pastor Alvin in the house uh, and the wife, also from Ali. If there are any people, any pastors and men of God, please. Reverend Tony Adalete and Mrs. Mary Adalete. I see Pastor Charles is seeing me, rolling in. Now my work is going to be hard because that is the golden microphone just walking into the house. <laughs> Reverend Isaac also appear. Amen. We're going to have special songs just to elevate the name of the Lord. But someone just whispered into my ears that there should be a special offering, whether it's coming from my own or not. So we are bringing the people back in front as the ministers minister some beautiful songs unto the Lord. Whatever touches your heart, free will, just dig into your wallet, bring, pull out something, and drop it. As we dancing, we drop it. As we dancing, we drop it. Until our pockets are empty. Amen. Yeah. Vessels of hope. We please bring you back on stage. Amen.
will come forward, amen. So if we say the family, I will entreat that the family uh, self come forward so that they can give their thanks uh, to the Lord. Amen. And one of the things that, you know, I've been asked to do is that tomorrow will be the 40th. Is that the 40th? Um, uh, what, what do we call it? Nakan. At the Vietnam, and in the tradition, uh, we do that. So the family will you know, combine them and pray for the family uh, before they leave uh, this place. So without wasting time, I will call the family to come forward to bring their thanksgiving. Let's give the Lord a big clap of it.
It is the air cancer. We are making sure we are. Break for us here. You feel bro. You can't see what you are so good. I said, you are going to talk for us. So I don't want to talk for you. You are going to talk for us. As a boy, I shall not know. But if you see, you see the creature in your skin, and what is it? I'm not sure. So what is it? I'm not sure. Hey, come on. Now you break for us here. If you are going to talk for us, you are going to talk for us. But you are going to talk for us. I want to give you some more. Amen.
Thank you for the work that she accomplished. You brought her through a family. And today, we together as a church stand here with the family and say thank you. Thank you for the good times. Thank you for the bad times. We thank you because you are sovereign God. We pray in the name of Jesus as we thank you. We commit the family to us. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that our sister life will be a legacy for this family. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We ask of your blessings upon them. We ask of your favor upon them. Amen. We ask for your protection over them. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If there is anything the enemy has planned after this, we are praying in the name of Jesus by the blood of the Lamb and the testimony we cancel it. Any dispute, we cancel it in the name of Jesus. Any discomfort, we cancel it in the name of Jesus. We thank you, we take that in the blood of the Lamb. And Father, we also pray, tomorrow is the 40th day of our sister left us. We commit her into your hands. Finally, and we pray that she will rest in the bosom until the day the trumpet will sound and we will rise up in glory. We pray this, this prayer in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let the people of God say, Amen. Amen. God bless you all. God bless you all. Toyota Sienna, or uh, it's a Toyota, let's see, TMC 9202, TMC 9202, please help someone out. And we have on the board a TKU 4906, Toyota UKE 9343, Toyota TUC, sorry, TUK, yeah, TUK 6995. Please, if you park right in front of the auditorium, we cannot block in two or three cars. Amen.
will show why. Yeah, that's how it came. Yes, we stand in the Bible says, I pray for a man to die. Once. It is here, and then they make her say, Oh, I'm in for heaven. Send me a bear. So, over to you. So, over here, the two. If I'm not this nation, the money lasts. We need 
joy that I'm talking about, you cannot earn it. It has to come from the Lord Almighty. And this joy is very important because it is not something that you can educate yourself with it. And I believe that most of us all we have ambition to find joy in so many areas. Some people find joy in their occupation. Some people find joy in their health. But some people find joy, excuse me, in sex. But I just want to tell you the joy of the Lord is none of those. The true joy of God is found in the scriptures here that the Lord is telling you and I. There is a foundation of always the joy of the Lord spring out into our daily life. And you have to discover this in the midst of all this pain and suffering that we go through every single day. Amen? Praise the Lord. I believe that most of us here, we are looking for joy. I believe that most of us here, we think that if we earn more money, then we'll be joyful and we'll be very happy. But I, you know, let me tell you, after you have found that land and come, you, know, you find out that the joy is not pain. Are you here with me? Because in our nature, joy doesn't come from that things. It comes from the Lord. Amen? Amen? And so if you will forget anything this morning, I want to share with you that desiring God, making God the desire of your wealth, desiring God is the source of all joy. I will put it one more time. If Christ becomes your treasure, if Christ becomes your joy, that is what joy comes from. Any other thing that we try to seek the joy from, the scripture said, we will end up in pain. And this morning, this afternoon, the first scripture that we have read here is telling us that joy doesn't come from anywhere because here, verse number 8, he says that you are filled with joy, inexpressible and full of glory. Even though these Christians were going through pain and suffering as our brother was going, is going through. And the family is going through. Our soul, your soul, is always in trouble trying to find joy in places. And so I read Psalm 42 verse 11 and it says, my soul, why are you cast down? My soul, why are you downcast in me? A believer joy doesn't come from anything that thing. But I just want to share with you three things that I found from the word of God here. From this verse. The first principle that the joy of the Lord comes from, the joy of the Lord comes from a believer believing in the promises of God. Amen. The joy of the Lord comes from believing the promises of God. And here, Peter gave us, gave us what it meant. He says here, if you look into the word of God, he says, praise be to the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us what? A new birth into a living hope. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. The reason why Peter is saying here that your hope that you have, that in the future you are going to do something, in the future you will be successful, it's not guaranteed. I believe that most of us here we have vision. How the vision is do? Maybe that's so, but your vision is not guaranteed. Your vision that you know doesn't mean, uh, uh, mean that what you have planned will come to pass. But here we read from the word of God that we can be sure that if our hope is in God and our faith is in God, our hope will never be dashed. You mean that's why your woman will never fade away. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And Peter made it sure, he says here. That if we have been born unto a living one, hope. To 
through the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Why can we be happy and joyous? Because we know that God will never fail us because of the resurrection. If Jesus Christ died and rose again, then we believe that whatever promise of God, God has promised our brother in his life, he will fulfill it. That is why we command our hope. He says, we've been born unto what? A living what? Hope. Why? Through the Lord Jesus Christ. And so what I want to share with you this afternoon is that if you can have the real joy of the Lord, you have to bind your hope in the promises of God. Because that is the only anchor, that is the only thing that when the storms are blowing, when the storms are blowing, because you'll be solid because your hope is in the world promises of God. And that is my brother and the family. With all this going on, if, if you lose your job, if the job of the Lord is on your heart, I have seen people so have killed them. I will say that my own dear sister, uh, doctor, passed away. And she could not recover from the pain. And in a few years, she died because of that pain. In the midst of confusion, in the midst of pain, you are different. You must hang on to the divine promises of God. And He will never, never fail you. Because if God raised Jesus Christ from the dead, He will never fail you. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the hope that we are talking about this afternoon. The second thing I just want to share with you that this job that I'm talking about, it does not come from physical things. The job of the Lord has nothing to do with physical, uh, physical things. Because he made it, he made it sure here in this in the word of God that now look into, you know, into the word of God and I want to share with you. Look into it. It says, to an inheritance, right? Verse number four. To an inheritance that cannot perish or spoil or fade away. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you. If you think that your joy is going to be on this earth. I promise you, you won't find it. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. I can be joyous. I can feel joy. Not because I feel my surrounding is over, but because I believe that I have inheritance. My inheritance is not on this earth. My inheritance is not what I can feel with physical here. But my inheritance is in heaven reserved for me. And that is where my strength, my joy is coming from. Even though my surroundings may be bad, even though my surroundings may not be good, but people were saying here that you know that your inheritance is reserved in heaven for you. Amen. Glory to God. Beloved, if your inheritance is, is on this earth, we will be the most miserable people. Paul said, as this one point, because as believers, when things are going bad, when things are not look good, we look forward and say, we have an inheritance on fed away reserved in heaven for us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so I can have the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord becomes my strength because I look at him. So the first thing that you have to understand, you know, if you can have the joy of the Lord and becomes your strength, is because you believe that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead, and because of that, His promises are yea and amen. You can take your check to the bank, and it will uh, never, it will never bounce. I believe that most of you save, you know, money in Bank of America. What's well, far, isn't it? How many of you have thousand dollars inside? Let me see, look at you, 20,000, 40,000, 50,000, 1 million dollars. Oh, we don't have millionaires here. Yeah. We don't have them here. I pray that you become a millionaire. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. It's so cool. But I, you know, let me tell you this. Have you ever gone?
go to sleep and worry about your money in the bank. Hallelujah. Have you gone to the bank and said, tomorrow I'll go to the bank? Because the bank has guaranteed. They have something there, the $250. Your, your money is what? It's what? And you go and you sleep, isn't it? You never worry about it. But I came here to tell you that when you bank your hope into the promises of God, if you bank your hope into the word of God, the Bible says that your hope will never be dashed. That is the promises of God. And so this morning, if you don't have anything, hope in God, my brother. Let your hope be in God. Because he has promised that he will see you through. This one when the enemy comes to you, and when Mr. Bar comes to your heart, and sorrow comes to you, lift up your heart and your, your, your eyes and say, I have an inheritance. My wife is there. My hope. Because God, when I say, I was preaching the word of God, and I, you know, I love a supposed Bible, so we go through the tongue. And I like the way John described. He says, my brothers, I want you to know that you know the Father. You know that you want the believers to be sure that they have the Father. I want you to go home, my brother, and have confidence that God will take care of you. God will take care of your children. God will take care of you. It's not just as I can say it, because the word of God is saying, is saying that I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. Everything is under his house. His plan and he will take care of you. And so you can be told, and you know, you can feel sorrow, not because you feel it, not because everything is going on, because you bank your hope on the promises of the Lord. Amen. Have the other Amen. 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 It is very important for us to understand as we celebrate our Sabbath and we give thanks to the Lord. I just want you to go home with your cup, your cup filled with joy. Don't let sorrow swallow you up. Don't let a man will walk any day, any day, any day, any I just want you to look up to God. And when your soul is down, lift up your hand and say, My soul, why are you down? I said, Look up to God. And He will make sure that He will see you through. Amen. Amen. The trouble of the Lord is not just feelings, it is believing. The promises of the living God. Verse number five. Say, Who through faith are shielded by the power of God unto the life to be revealed. The last slide I just want to touch on it is that the, the, the scripture talks about the preservation of the believer. When the Bible talks about preservation of the believer, it means that God will see to it. In other words, we call it the providence of God, the provision of God. God told Abraham when he was going to sacrifice his son Isaac. He says that, you know, Isaac said, Father, where is the lamb? And Abraham said, so, uh, Isaac said, where is the lamb? And the father said, God will make sure. God will make sure. God will provide. He will make sure. That means the providence of God will take you through one you might not know it, my brother, but the, but the Bible says you are preserved and kept by the power of God. There is a power that is around you that you don't see. God is preserving you and is protecting you. Nothing can hurt you. I said nothing can hurt you if you trust in God. I always say that we have African religion, uh, religion and we have American religion. Hello? In African religion, we, keep, we preach fear into people's life. So that they can come to prayer Monday. They can come to prayer Tuesday. They can come to prayer Thursday, Friday, Wednesday, and Friday. And the devil is what? what? It's always after us. Hello? Oh, hallelujah. Oh, we can say this as well. What is the father? 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 I am serving the God who is able to protect me. He is able to protect my children. He is able to protect my wife. No matter what comes in, I believe that the, the preservation power of God is encamping around me. Hallelujah. If something happens in your life, not because God has said, it's because God has allowed to happen for you. Nothing 
comes without the purpose of God. I, will, I told you last time that we don't sell uh, uh, we are not dualists. We don't believe two equal powers trying to fight against each other. The devil has God has no match with the devil. I said God has no match with the world. The devil. He is the only potent. He is the only powerful God. He is the only almighty God. He said, Come, declare, is there is any other God beside me? There is none beside me. I am God. I declare the end from the beginning. He is God. That's what we said. This afternoon, I just want to share if you have this foundation, my brother and family, if you, if you have this foundation and you must stand up on it, no matter what the enemy will do, the joy of the Lord will be your strength. Amen. Hallelujah. If you forget anything in your life this afternoon, remember that treasuring God, making God, Christ, the supreme joy of your life will be the foundation. Of your own joy. Jesus said one thing, he says, I'm saying to you so that your joy will be full. Your joy will be full. No matter when you trust Christ as your everything, your joy will be full. May the Lord give you this foundation. May you go home filled with the promises of God, my brother. Because we are serving the living God. And I know that He knows before it happens. We serve God. With our sister, you dedicated this man <laughs> and the wife. They come here, they are the people that come here first to come and clean here before everybody comes. Do you think God, you know, God doesn't see it? Only no one. God knows everything. So let your joy be full. Are you blessed? Give the Lord a big clap offer. Give him the praise. I said, give him the praise. Hallelujah. God is good. He has a... Let's open up here. Oh my soul. Rise up.
we are all here to take a second offering, a special offering for the kingdom of God. God bless you. We will celebrate our God. We will celebrate our God. Let his banner be raised, his glory be seen. We will celebrate our God. We will celebrate our God.
So, um, welcome and also want to extend the invitation to all of you. If you don't have a place of worship, please join us to fellowship to the glory of God. Amen. And if you do have that inclination to join us in fellowship, please do not hesitate. You could um, contact me, you know, see me around and um, give me your name, information, and we'll follow up with you as needed. Amen. We'll call upon Reverend Isaac to give us a close of prayer. Amen. Let's all be our feet. I call our Reverend uh, Tony to come and close us in prayer. Tony, could you come from a prayer for us? Amen. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. 